Hi and welcome, my name is the Nordic Dane and today we're gonna talk about God of War on PlayStation 5 but with a PlayStation 4 disc. <laughs> so I bought this game a while back uh, for about $10 when it was on sale and then I think about two months after it actually became free for PlayStation Plus users. So God of War doesn't have an actual PlayStation 5 upgrade, but they have added some extra features to make it somewhat better than the PlayStation 4 edition, including a 60 frames per second, 4K resolution and stuff like that, but I'll be more in details with that later on. So I used to play the old God of War games. I played 1, 2 and 3 on, I think it must have been PlayStation 2. It has been a while since I played anything related to God of War. But now, since the new trailer for God of War 2, it's not called God of War 2, it's called God of War Ragnarok. Since that have come out, I have been wanting to play this even more so, and now I just started the game. The game is developed by several companies, one of them being the Santa Monica Studio, which is owned by Sony themselves, but also by, let me read from the list, Ready at Dawn, Jetpack Interactive, Daybreak Game Company, and Java Ground are all developers of this video game. And most of these developers have already been involved in God of War at some point in their lives. And then we have Sony and Capcom being the publishers of this game. God of War is an open world adventure game that basically takes place after God of War 3, but it has been a while since we've seen Kratos and that is also reflected in the video game. Now he's not in Greece anymore, he's in this winter, cold, snowy landscape. And soon you get to learn that we're actually in the realm of Scandinavia. Which for me, as a Scandinavian, I am all about that. We see that there is this kid that calls Kratos for father, but I'm not really sure that he's actually his father. However, this kid just lost his mother. You start off the game by burning her body, and then the mission so far is to take her ashes up to the top of the mountains. So far, we've already met one god who said that we were not welcome, most likely because we're a Greek god and the Norse gods don't want any Greek gods there. And we have met the Midgard Serpent as well as this woman who kind of gives off a vibe that she might be Egyptian, which is also why the Norse gods don't like her and she is expelled for some reason or another. Otherwise, you have typical stories like the Bifrost and throughout the game, you can find these different kind of places where they will reveal some of the Norse mythology if you don't already know it. If I were to guess where this is headed, this looks very much like the previous games where you will fight off these different Norse gods one by one and kill them basically in order to achieve your goal, which in this video game seems like it's just getting to the top of the mountain. Luckily, we already know that there's a sequel coming, so my guess is that in the sequel we'll see more gods and the Midgard Servant is definitely also in the second game, so we will definitely see more to that as well. The question is, however, I wonder if they're gonna make this into a trilogy as well. The game runs on 60 frames per second in a 4K resolution, which is really visually stunning, especially consider that this is still a PlayStation 4 game, not a PlayStation 5 game, even though I run it on a PlayStation 5. So far, there has been no glitches whatsoever. I have personally been dealing with a problem, which is why some of my footage is a little bit blurry, though I visually see it on my TV screen as in perfect resolutions and with no problems whatsoever. The sound for this game is really, really great. I love the atmospheric sounds that they've added to this game. I love the frosty wind sounds, the leaves falling off the trees. The monster sound is also amazing and that is usually something that I really don't like listening to, but in this game they've actually done a pretty good job. When it comes to some of the game mechanics in this game, I had to put down the difficulty level. Usually I tend to play video games on the hardest difficulty level, but with this one I actually did have some trouble in the beginning, and so I actually had to take it down a notch. But so far otherwise, I really love the mechanics. I love throwing the axe around, that is one of my favorite things, and I love the animations that are visible when you call back the axe. In the beginning, the boy that you have with you are pretty useless, but once you start upgrading the boy, he actually becomes a great benefit to your game because he can distract the enemies as well as kill them. And this just makes him so powerful. So honestly, I have been spending all of my upgrade points trying to upgrade the kid rather than upgrading myself. One of the things that I really enjoy about this video game is the fact that it's less button pressing than it was in the previous game. 
or even to compare it to Valhalla as if you haven't already seen the video please go up here and check that out. In Valhalla it has gone away from this assassin mode and gone more over to the button pressing mode but I feel like God of War has actually taken a step a little bit towards the less button pressing and more tactical way of killing the enemies. If you played some of the previous God of War games, there's still this kind of puzzle solving that you need to do in order to move on from level to level. And yes, it is an open world, but it's more like an open world where you can go over to the specific area of the map and then you have to complete this whole linear story throughout the map. Which personally I don't have a problem with, but it's not really an open world in that way, but I'm okay with that in this game. Like I said before with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I really personally dig Norse mythology and I love to see that in video games. I have been missing a lot of that because it really doesn't exist outside of what has been here lately. And so automatically I'm a little bit biased on the grade, but honestly I want to give this video game 6 out of 6 Viking helmets. It is super great. I have nothing to complain about right now and I want to play more. I want to play more right now and honestly I might even go and start a stream tonight just so I can play some more. So yes, if you played any of the old God of War, or even want to say Tomb Raider, just because of the puzzles that you'd kind of do in Tomb Raider, there's a, some similarity in God of War. Not as much, but there's a little bit. So if you like those kind of games, I would definitely recommend checking this out. It is definitely a high recommended game from my end. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please go and like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And you can also go and follow my Twitch streams. My handle is the Nordic Dane, and as always, Peace.